All right, hello everyone. Oh, I'm having some uh, dry here. All right, good evening everyone. Welcome to our our first class. I'm very excited. I was able to get online. We've been having a internet problems all week, and so I just hope that it, it holds up all the way all the way through. But uh, I see all of you putting your names in the chat, which is perfect. Uh, if you could make sure to put your first and last name in there, that will help me to uh, that will help me to write your names down and keep track of everybody who is with me tonight. But uh, but hello, good evening. My name is Elisa Setmeyer, and uh, I am your your professor for our very short four week class that we have together. Uh, but perfect, all of you. Um, again, that's perfect. Putting your names in the chat. That's great. What we're gonna do tonight is we'll just go over the website a little bit together. Um, I'll, I can answer any questions that any of you have uh, about Canvas or about the ebook site or any of the, the materials. Uh, I'll give you some reminders for this week. I will give you a uh, Twitch extra credit question that you can answer for, for joining me here live. Uh, but can everyone hear and see me just fine? I forgot to ask you that a couple of minutes ago. Can everyone hear and see me okay before before I keep going. Perfect, okay, great. Uh, thank you, thank you all for letting me know. Look at all the yeses, I'll take it. Uh, if at any point, uh, I know this sounds really basic, but if at any point your audio uh, isn't working or your video isn't working, uh, try logging out and coming back on. Uh, that seems to fix most of the issues. Uh, nice to meet you all as well. Sorry that we uh, wish that we were in person, but it's definitely nice to at least have a, a few minutes together live. So this class doesn't meet at any specific days uh, or times. Everything is kind of self-assigned for you to, uh, to cover. I've created a bunch of uh, lectures. I'm going to show you where all of those are. Um, and then what we will do each week is I'll have one of these streams and you can have a couple of extra credit points for joining me and answering a question that I'll give you and I will show you where you can do that and all of that information. Uh, I see a couple of you uh, linking right here. I'm going to put this reminder uh, in the chat. And the only reason that I'm encouraging you to do this uh, is Twitch. Um, so a couple of you have asked me why I'm using Twitch. Um, so there's obviously Zoom, which I use to record all of our lectures. But Twitch is kind of a fun um, pop culture, very current platform. A lot of people use it for video games or live streaming. Uh, and I just thought it would be fun to use. I was using it before everything changed with, with COVID. Uh, but one downside to Twitch is it does have ads as part of it. Uh, and you can help yourself to disable those if you subscribe for free with your Prime account. And I've given you a lot of instructions on how to do that on, on Canvas. Uh, but a couple of benefits to that is that it will minimize all of the ads that you have. Uh, you'll have one probably at the beginning and that should be it. Uh, and then it also allows me to download a list of everybody who was on here with me and it saves me so much time. Uh, if you have that little icon next to your name and you're subscribed, it makes my life a million times easier. So no ads and it makes my life easier. So I really appreciate those of you who figured that out or took the time to do that. If you haven't yet, um, I will show you where those instructions are. But um, let's go over and hop onto Canvas. If at any point tonight uh, you have questions, put them here in the chat. Uh, and I will do my best to uh, to answer them. So thank you for uh, for participating and asking questions. That's perfect. Uh, so I would if I was a partner, which I am not. Um, so I'm sadly not a, a partner on Twitch, but uh, my best buddies are, which is very exciting uh, for them. But uh, I do not as I am not a partner, right? Sadly, right, I would have to average quite a bit more uh, people than are on here. So uh, let's go over to Canvas together. And this is our course shell. So if you are able to get here, uh, you should be in wonderful shape. So um, from this page, everything is linked out here um, and there will be announcements every week. I have links to the announcements and to the ebook site right here, uh, which is fantastic for you. You can kind of click on all these spots. Everything is organized here by week. We have four short weeks together. Um, so it is definitely a quick moving class. So don't uh, let yourself fall behind. But what I would like to do is just kind of give you a quick overview and show you where you can find more information 
if you want a little bit more. Uh, I'll show you the ebook site in case you haven't been on there yet, and then we'll go over a couple of things uh, that are due this week, I'll, uh, and then I'll give you that extra credit question. So uh, when you're on the home page here, you'll see there are these little links to week number one, the mandatory orientation, help in campus resources, course documents, and videos. Uh, so these links here are kind of your quick way to access stuff. They're also over here on the left. But um, the first thing that you should do is do the mandatory um, orientation materials, right? So right here, you can see here's the mandatory orientation lecture that you can click on and read through. Um, there's a video overview of the course. If you want a little bit more, um, I made a video where I went through all of it um, in detail. Um, so if you want a little bit more than I'm giving you tonight, uh, please feel free to watch that. Um, here's a link to the quiz, which I'll show you as well, and then an extra credit assignment for this week. Uh, underneath that, there's some help in campus uh, resources. So frequently asked questions, um, some information about how to find me on Twitch. If you're already here with me, you did that. Um, and then I also post a lot of videos on YouTube. So it might not be a bad idea to find me on there as well so that you can access them. There's some information about setting your Canvas notifications, finding your grades and feedback, uh, some help with technology, some student services, uh, psychology major information, and so on. Um, and then we get into the different weeks. So I have a lot of resources up here available for you, um, including the syllabus, some information about the textbook, uh, a rubric, some video resources, and so on. So I would really encourage you to go through and click on all of these, take a look at the syllabus, uh, the book resources, the rubrics, anything that I have posted on here, maybe take a quick look at it and uh, it will only help you, especially if you're feeling a little bit confused about what is uh, where everything is on this Canvas site. So uh, lots of frequently asked questions. I kind of compiled a list of ones that I get every semester together for you. Uh, and then make sure your notifications are set so that you're getting all of my emails um, and messages uh, that I send out. So I'm trying to send out a, a lot of them because it's a very quick class. So uh, you want to make sure that you're getting those announcements from me. And you can set that up where it comes to you by text or by email. So all of that is, is right here. Uh, and then after that, then we get into week number one. And what I've done is organize everything for you by week. So it's a lot, right? If it looks like a lot that's on here, we're basically condensing a month, um, a month into a week. Oh, look. Um, one of the joys of teaching from home, like <laughs> this is my cat Rolly, <laughs> um, who is crashing our, our class, <laughs> right? Um, I know people are never overly upset when, when my cats come in. I have four cats and that's, that's one of them. He's probably my friendliest, at least to me, but, um, he, <laughs> I'm here laughing in the background, but he will, he'll hang out with us here. My big, uh, big fat Rolly cat uh, from 101 Dalmatians, the little cat that's always, always hungry. All right. Okay. You have to go. All right. Anyway, he's distracting, right? So uh, anyway, so week number one, you can see here, it's uh, we have chapter one, two, three, and four. And then I've made you a lecture video for each one of them as well. So uh, what you'll need to do for each lecture is you'll want to open it up. And there's a five page format for each one of these. Um, and again, if you have uh, questions at any point, feel, please feel free to put them um, in, the, in the chat. Um, lots of love for Rolly <laughs> at the moment. Uh, but each one of these lectures have these five tabs to it that you'll see up here. And there's a audio of this, or you can just read it. But the first tab will always be a summary. The second one is beyond the book. So this is stuff um, that sometimes will include little lecture videos that I've made or links to um, videos or documentaries or clips that might be helpful for you in understanding the information. Yes, and you should be reading um, the chapters, which I'll show you in a few minutes, um, and also looking at these lectures. Uh, there's also the video lecture to watch as well. So um, three things to complete as far as content for the week. Uh, the In Pop Culture page is going to give you a bunch of things that um, are examples of what we're covering in popular culture. Lots of shows and books and movies related to psychology. On the fourth page, you have our key terms and review. So these are all the terms that you'll need to know from this chapter. 
for the exam. And then the last page is always going to be application. So now that we've covered this chapter, um, how could you use this or apply it in your life in some way? Um, and anytime there are links or videos or materials in here, please um, click on them, watch them. I've put them there to try and help you to understand the materials and, and enrich them, make them more interesting if possible. Um, so make sure you're clicking on and watching everything. You can listen to it if you uh, miss my voice <laughs> or want to hear it, um, or you can just read it, of course, as well. So for each chapter, you should ideally be reading the chapter in the book, which I'll show you in a little bit. Um, and then you're reading through the little lecture and watching the lecture video. So I was doing the lectures live on Twitch, uh, but sometimes, uh, you know, anybody can come on to here, so that was a little bit of an issue. Um, and then they aren't, weren't captioned. A lot of people really needing captions for accessibility. So what I've done is I've recorded a lecture video for you for each chapter uh, where I can play little clips and, uh, and talk about the, the slides that go with it. Uh, as far as the order goes, well, thank you, right? I, I thought that would be nice in case you wanted to listen to it with the recording. Uh, I think for me, what I think is the most intuitive might be to read the chapter in the book and then um, look through the lecture on here and then watch the video. Um, and I think that would be the order that I would recommend. Um, there's a little bit of overlap between all of them, but I think that's good. It's hopefully reinforcing the materials even more. But I would read the book and then um, look through the lecture here on Canvas and then watch the lecture video. Right. What I do is read the chapter and then watch it after to review. Oh, definitely. Yeah, and um, somebody emailed me about that. So um, I removed the drag and drop activity because it kept freezing. Uh, but I thought that I had updated that audio. So thank you for a couple of you who let me know. Um, I just need to re-record that audio. Sadly, there is no drag and drop activity. It was a really cool resource that Canvas had, uh, but it almost never worked. So I did remove it. So thank you for letting me know. So um, for each one of the chapters, and there'll be four chapters every week, read the book, read the lecture, watch the video, and then there'll be two discussions um, that you'll do corresponding to those materials. So uh, traditionally, there would be one discussion per week, but we're just doing two of them uh, per week now for the summer. So you'll click on these and you'll do the discussions. For example, discussion one. For discussion number one, you're um, looking at chapter two topics on research, right? And I made a little video at the beginning of each one, kind of introducing the topic, giving you a little more information. I would definitely suggest um, that you watch these. Most of these are linked to YouTube so that you could watch them, um, hopefully pretty easily from any piece of technology. Uh, but with each one of these discussions, you'll be responding to my questions. And the way that you do that is you hit reply right here. Um, and then you'll also be responding to one of your peers. Uh, so you will read through a couple of other people's posts and when you're ready, you can reply to any one of them. And that part is obviously much shorter, uh, but with these, you know, you're gonna be answering all of these questions that I've posted for you. And it's your chance to uh, show off your understanding and comprehension of the material. So these are gonna link directly to the lectures and the book uh, and all of the reading that you're doing each week. Uh, but some of them are kind of more experiment based um, where you'll do little activities. This one here, you're designing research as if you were conducting research as a psychologist. So they're all a little bit different, uh, but you'll do this format every week of four lectures, four chapters, two discussions, and then there'll also be an exam, uh, which I will talk about in a little bit as well. Okay. Yeah, there should be lots of overlap, um, all kind of reinforcing each other. So uh, any, other, any other questions um, so far before, before I keep going? Do you find the flashcards or the key terms and review more accurate to focus on the exam? So that's a great question. I'll talk more about the test in a moment, but if you are on any of these lecture pages right here, all of the terms that are on the study guides are right here on this fourth page. So any term that you find right here you'll also see on the study guide. And these are all the things from that chapter uh, that you'll need to know on the test. So anything that's right here, make sure that you are able to um, define it or answer questions on it. You will see these terms again on the exam. Any other questions or anything for, for now? 
I'm kind of going over um, the website a little bit more than I normally would. Uh, starting next week when we do our next live stream, it'll be mainly feedback from the previous week and then reminders and tips related to that week. So we might be a little bit longer um, tonight than usual. Uh, typically, that will be the format we follow. But I want to make sure all of you are feeling comfortable and understand where everything is uh, and where you can find all those materials. Yeah, the study guide um, is right here for you. Have that with every uh, week. So it's one week at a time. So right now we're in week one. Here is study guide number one. So you could easily uh, bring that up like you were suggesting. Uh, and then you can define these terms as you go or just make sure you understand them. Uh, that's definitely a great, great strategy. Good. I'm glad it's I'm glad everything on there is very clear. That's nice to hear. So you'll follow that format every week. And again, everything is organized under that weekly folder. So as long as you remember what week you're in, and I will remind you every Monday, you should be in good shape. So here, um, again, for this week, it's chapters one through four, and then exam number one, uh, and then the extra credit, which I'll give you in a little bit. So the only other thing that isn't in this week is you are responsible for doing that mandatory orientation quiz. And that's due before tonight at 11.59 p.m. So if you haven't done that yet, make sure that you get your ebook and you complete that as soon as possible. Uh, this is my way of making sure that you've logged in and that you understand the course requirements uh, before the deadline. The add drop deadline is literally uh, tomorrow morning. So uh, it's a very quick deadline. And so that's why the, the deadline for this is so short. Uh, but it's very important that you complete this if you would like to stay in the class and I'll show you where you can find that and all of that as well. By May 30th, we need to have read and watched all the lectures, done the discussions and taken um, the test. Yes, so by the end of the week, so this week will end, yes, on May 30th at 1159 p.m. and all of these uh, materials are due by that deadline. Um, I'll talk a little bit more about the exam in a minute, but yeah, let's go to the ebook because that's how you're gonna need to you're gonna to need to do that before you can do this element. So if we go back to the home page, uh, once you have purchased your ebook, you can click right here and it'll take you directly to that site. Uh, but I did give you some information about how to access that. If you go to announcements, the very first one that I set out to you was all about um, the orientation and the textbook. So let's bring that up. And there's a, a link right here for how to um, purchase and register and access the ebook. Um, so the first thing that you'll want to do is click on this link right here that says ebook purchase link. And you can purchase this through the Moorpark College bookstore as well, but I think this is just a much easier way to do it. It links you directly um, to the publisher. And uh, once you purchase this, you'll add it to your cart and purchase, and then they should send you an access code and you'll register and do all of that, which is uh, linked right here, how to do those steps. So once you've done all that, it's actually very simple from there. Um, you'll just log in every time and go directly to that page, uh, but it does take a few minutes to purchase, get the, get the link, get everything set up, and then you should be squared away from there. So we have um, lectures just on Twitch or um, read and follow the module. So I'm just, I missed a couple of questions here. Um, so the lectures are the videos that I made for you. So if you go back to week number one, for example, um, the lecture that you have, so there's one to read and then one to watch. Um, and again, there's a little bit of overlap between the two, but that's what you should be doing every week is reading the one I made for you and then watching the lecture video um, where I literally will go through the slides that I would have done in person and kind of elaborate and talk more about those topics. And I've made one of those for you for every chapter. Um, so that's what you should be doing. Um, the Twitch is mainly reminders, questions, and then I'll be giving you um, extra credit uh, for joining me. I'll give you a question that you can answer each week. Uh, to get a couple of extra points for being on here with me and uh, participating and getting those reminders and feedback and, and so on. Okay. Yes, yeah, so the exams are 75 minutes. Yes, one hour and 15 minutes um, long. And you'll see that in a moment when we go on to the ebook site. But yes, every exam other than the mandatory orientation quiz, which is very short, uh, is 75 minutes long. And there isn't a minimum word count for the discussions. I did give you a sample up here. If you go to the top, 
uh, discussion rubric and sample posting. So if you want to see kind of what I'm expecting, these should almost be like little mini essays. So um, I give you some tips on how to succeed. And then here is a sample uh, response. So this is actually your first discussion prompt. Um, and this is what somebody responded with uh, to receive full credit. So it might be a really great uh, example for you to take a look at. And then here's the peer response, which is obviously much shorter uh, and only worth up to two points long. Okay. All right. So once you have uh, purchased and set up your ebook, um, which you should be able to do with that link I just showed you, You'll click on this and it'll take you straight to the ebook site. Oh, it got tired of waiting for me uh, and logged me out. Uh, but then once you are here, sometimes people get lost on this page. There's a little um, button right here that you have to push to go to the next page. I'm not sure why they did that, uh, but it's, it's definitely uh, something people miss. Um, and I'm just going to pick one of these random from to show you. They're all the same on my end. But once you log into the ebook site, this is what it looks like. It should take you um, straight to the welcome page. Um, after that, it will take you to the page that you left off on. Uh, and you'll see on this page, I have a little video here where I've walked you through all of the materials on this page, just in case you're a little confused. And then at the top, here's where you can access the actual book. Um, so if you click chapters, Here are all the chapters, um, and if you click on chapter one, for example, it'll bring this up, and, and you should be reading through this. You'll see the key terms are highlighted here uh, for you, uh, and you know, you'll know you notice, uh, or maybe you did notice, I did write this book, so um, I was able to kind of cater it uh, in the way that I wanted to to the materials that I thought were important, so um, hopefully you find that kind of fun. I find that kind of fun. Uh, but all the, there's a bunch of pictures, um, obviously there's little boxes on here um, about like applying the materials, there's some uh, diagrams and charts that will be helpful for you. And all of this information that's on here, along with the lectures, uh, is free game on the exam. Yeah, well, I'm glad you find that fun, it was definitely uh, a lot of work. It took me, I, I want to say two years to do, so um, thank you for finding it fun. <laughs> but there's uh, some apply it things here, some in pop culture links, um, and then uh, I have some videos that are linked out on uh, YouTube, and then some applications. So uh, make sure that you're reading the chapter for each, uh, each lecture that we have. There's some additional resources at the top. This is mainly if you were taking this in person with me, but the flashcards that are on here are kind of fun. Um, and I think that uh, there's something that could be helpful. Quizlet is another really great free resource, but um, these flashcards, really basic, but they might help you with the key terms. The biggest thing on here is here's where you'll find the exams. Um, okay, don't penalize you yet just for the discussion and feedback. Um, no worries, right? Not till the end of the week. You have all the way till Sunday night. Uh, but right here is where you will find the exams for the class. And again, there's one that's due before tonight at 11.59 p.m. and that is this mandatory orientation quiz. And you'll notice, uh, I imagine a lot of you have taken this already. If you have, you'll notice that your score does not show up automatically in Canvas. And that's completely fine. Um, you'll notice that's the, the trend. Uh, there's a great book on here that will score and hold your scores. And then once the deadlines have passed, I will import them and bring them over into Canvas. So don't worry if you don't see it in Canvas yet. As long as it's recorded on here, um, you're in great shape. And then when the deadlines pass, I'll bring those scores over for you. Uh, but you'll see there's a reminder for each one of the, the tests. The mandatory orientation quiz is very brief. It's on the syllabus and the mandatory orientation lecture, so you only get 15 minutes. But for the other exams, for exams one through four, uh, you'll have 75 minutes to take them. Uh, they're mainly multiple choice, matching, and true-false. Uh, so as long as you understand the materials on those levels, there aren't any short answer questions, but there are some matching and um, true-false and then multiple choice questions. You have 75 minutes to take the test and you only get one attempt so make sure that you are ready and organized and, and all set to go. You have the best internet connection and quiet space if possible uh, before you begin. Since once you start, 
uh, you are kind of locked in and have to keep going. Is there any way to check the gray book just to see that it's been submitted and it's there? Yes. Mm -hmm. So if you go all the way up to the top and you click on your grade book here on, um, on the ebook site, it will show you your score. So if you see a score on there, then everything has gone through and you're in good shape. Uh, and then again, I will bring all that over onto Canvas once the deadlines have passed. So you should get a score immediately after finishing the test. So as long as you see it in the grade book on here, for now, um, you'll be in good shape. Right. Of course. Any other any other questions so far? My dog and my cat are now fighting with each other. <laughs> Two dogs and four cats, right? And three rats. <laughs> uh, the scores for the discussions. So for the discussions, I will be grading those once the week has ended. So our weeks are Monday to Sunday, um, and then typically on Mondays, I will grade everything from the previous week. Um, and so on Monday, by Monday evening, you can expect to have your score uh, for those discussions and, uh, and everything will be posted on Canvas and I'll also be bringing the exam scores over on Mondays as well. Um, no, it's not 120 questions. I believe uh, that there are roughly like 60 something to 70 questions on each um, exam. Uh, it's, it's definitely not 120, <laughs> right? Uh, so there are, um, gosh, you know, they're each a little bit different because they're worth different points, uh, but there are like somewhere in the 70s or 80s, right? So you don't have a ton of time. You have about a minute per question. So it's really important, again, that you are prepared and organized and ready to go. And yes, each chapter is pretty equally represented. And it follows the order of um, the chapter. So all of like chapter one questions will then be followed by all of chapter two, then all of chapter three, and all of chapter four. And I will never trick you on an exam. They're very straightforward. If you are prepared and studying, um, you should be in wonderful shape. I think the exams are very clear and straight. Like I've written them, they're not publisher questions. So they, they very much correspond to the materials. So as long as you are studying and reading and preparing, you should be in really good shape. Um, mainly multiple choice and then a little bit of true, false and, and matching, right? Thank you, right? Perfect, thank you, thank you. So um, when you go to take the exam, again, one attempt, you can use your notes, you can use your book, you can use the internet, you can use anything at your disposal. But I wanna tell you that if you are trying to look everything up, you will run out of time. Right, so it's very important that you study a little bit like you would for a normal test or you're going to be very tight when it comes to time. Um, and that is somewhat purposeful. Right? So I know that it's not uh, maybe as much time as you would like, but you need to make sure that you have studied and that you're organized uh, when you go to take the exams. And that will really pay off for you. Uh, if you're trying to understand the term and then understand the question, you're gonna run out of time. So make sure that you are preparing and studying. You also have to make sure that you save your answers. So let me show you what this will look like. Let's go, um, let's take a look at, let's see if it'll let me go in and show you this. So this is the mandatory orientation quiz. Um, and hopefully all of you have either taken this or are planning on doing it very soon. So you'll notice there's a clock right here. It will tell you how much time that you have. And this one has 10 questions and they're black at the moment because they haven't been answered. So here we go. So there's one required ebook for this course, right? And then I will select true. And then you have to save your answer. When you save it, you'll notice that it turns it like uh, kind of a, a gold orange color. And then you can go to the next question. And you're welcome to skip around. You can skip questions, but make sure before you submit your test that you have saved everything, that everything is like a gold or orange color. Yes, if you have a memo with access, Claire, or Clary, right? Uh, it's hard to tell the, the Twitch names. Um, if you have an access memo, make sure you send that to me as soon as possible. Uh, and I will request for you to have the timing that you have been granted by access, of course. So um, the course is self-paced, right? And you can move through the semester at your own pace. That is false. And then you will save your answer. Little um, preview or sneak peek for you here, which is not true about your instructor. Your instructor hates football. I am a huge football fan. Uh, you'll save your answer. Uh, I got my, my case here. I'm a big 
Tom Brady and Patrick Mahomes fan. Um, it's been a good 21 years of, of football with, with Brady. But uh, you make sure everything is saved. And again, you're welcome to skip. Keep an eye on the clock. And when you're done, you'll hit I am finished submit for a grade. And it will remind you, like, you have you saved everything? And once you're done, it will tell you your score instantly. Um, you can see the ones that you got right or wrong. I just got a shameful 3 out of 10 here, <laughs> but I only answered 3, so that's okay. Uh, but you'll see your score instantly, and then it should also show up in your grade book, uh, and you'll be able to um, see that on there as well. So make sure before you go to take any of the exams that you're organized, you're prepared. The study guide is a really good resource for that. So if we go back to Canvas for a moment and to week one, the study guide is right here for the first exam. And if you open this up, if it were me, and I tend to be uh, kind of an overachieving student, uh, and I'm always very anxious about exams, so I overprepare. If it were me, what I would do, at least for the first test, is I would write out or type out every single one of the terms that's on the study guide. If it's on here, you will see it on the exam. If it's not on here, it won't be on the test. So um, anything on here is fair game. And so what I would do is I might write all of this out or type all of it out, and I would have it right next to me during the test. If you don't know the answer, you can quickly reference it. You're not searching through all the materials trying to find the information. If you find that you overprepared, you could kind of um, tone it down or scale it back a little bit for the next test. But better to over-prepare for the first one, uh, and then you can kind of adjust a little bit after. If you know all of the terms on here, you'll do wonderfully. Again, the exams are very straightforward. But please do make sure that you study uh, and that you prepare a little bit, or you will be short on time. So uh, I think that's the big thing when it comes to the big reminders that I have for you for the exams. Are there any other questions about the ebook site? Uh, the exams, the grade book, anything, anything else that I've I've talked about so far? Any any questions? And again, uh, I'm kind of talking more and going through more tonight than I normally will, but I just want to make sure uh, that I'm here to answer any questions you might have, so that you feel set and good uh, about everything, and you know where everything can be found. How do you access each page of the ebook? Do you just click next at the bottom? Uh, so when you're on the ebook, let's go back. Chapters. Sure, a little confused with the with the format. Interesting. So okay, so if you click on chapter one, um, it's basically one long page. So you can scroll all the way. Um, you can scroll all the way through this. You can also jump from section to section right here. So you can basically just scroll through all of it and just keep going. Or um, if you wanted to skip to the different sections, the links are right here for you um, at the top. Oh, thank you. That's very kind of you to say. Um, inverse relationship and a negative correlation, yes, are the same thing. So inverse and negative are the same thing, yes. How often do I go live on Twitch? So I'll be live on Twitch once a week. Uh, for roughly like maybe 30 to 45 minutes and again it'll be typically reminders and feedback uh, and then I'll give you a Twitch extra credit question each week that's worth five points that you can answer uh, and I'll show you that in a moment where we're almost there um, and I will give that to you for tonight of course uh, but I'll be on here once a week otherwise um, everything is done for you kind of ahead of time. So I've recorded all of these lectures uh, and I'm recording them as we go. So you can watch them on here with captions. Um, for those of you who would like that um, accessibility, it's always nice to have captions. They might not always be perfect, but they are, they are there. Um, yes, there is a typo on the graph with the negative um, correlation. There is, it says uh, the wrong thing under negative. Uh, and I have to change the entire book in order to fix it. So I haven't, I haven't done it because it will cause the book uh, probably to be more expensive. And I tried to keep it as absolutely minimal as possible. I know $75 seems like a lot, but most psychology books are like $150 to $200. So that's actually really, really low. Um, and so I, I hesitate to change it so they don't change that. Of course, I'm glad everything is, is clear. Yes, thank you for checking. 
and absolute and sensory thresholds are not quite the same thing. So you might want to read a little bit more um, on that. Sensory thresholds have to do with each one of the senses versus an absolute threshold. I mean, they're, they're similar concepts, but they're not 100% the same. Yes, if it's not on the study guide, it won't be on the test. True. So if you open the study guide and it's not on there, you don't need to study it. You don't need to prepare just what's on the study guide. Um, that's plenty of information already. Uh, but yes, you'll notice that all the exams are on the ebook site. So if you haven't purchased your copy of the ebook, make sure that you do that right away. Um, everything is on there for the exams. And again, that mandatory orientation is due before midnight tonight. So please make sure that you get that um, get that done. I believe you have six months where you can access the ebook. So what you could also consider doing um, is you can print this as well. And I know it's not the most efficient, but if you wanted access to this. Uh, beyond that six-month window, uh, you could also consider downloading or printing it, uh, which might be another another way to hold on to it longer. Okay. All right, so um, just a couple of other things. Uh, one thing that I really encourage you to look at, make sure you look over the syllabus uh, a little bit. It's a, just another way of keeping you on track of everything that's due. The last page of the syllabus has our schedule on it so you can see it like a quick glance when everything is due and all of the materials that we are covering. Um, I don't think the, the ebook comes in a PDF format but you can download, uh, there's some slides and extra materials on there that you can download as a PDF but I don't think that you can download the entire book as a, as a PDF. I think that you can print it but you can't download it. But if you go, I can go back there for a moment here. But you can go to like additional resources. For example, there are some PowerPoint slides on here that you can download as a PDF and then some extra materials if you wanted to that you can. Uh, but I don't think that you can do that with um, the chapters. And I don't know if that's the publisher trying to prevent you from, from printing it. Uh, but if any of you figure a way out to do that, feel free to uh, share it with me and I'd be happy to share it with all of you as well. So again, um, the syllabus, just to go back here, shows you kind of a quick at a glance of when everything is due. Just to one more time reinforce, uh, our class week start Monday morning at 12.01 a.m. and then they end Sunday night at 11.59 p.m. And I'm very strict about that deadline. So please make sure that you get all of the materials in before the deadline hits. Um, I don't accept the materials after the deadline, and that's just a matter of trying to be fair and consistent across circumstances. So please try and plan ahead, get things done early if you can. Um, but if you email me even at like 12.01 a.m. Monday morning and say like I was trying to submit it uh, and it wouldn't let me, if your email is past 11.59, it, it's beyond the deadline. So please um, all that is written out in here, but please make sure that you get everything in before that. If you have an emergency that comes up, the only way that I will consider an extension is if you have emailed me before the deadline. So if something happens, uh, this year has been so unpredictable and chaotic, um, and I understand that things do come up. So you just need to make sure that you've emailed me before the deadline hits. Um, if you want me to even consider uh, accepting something late. Otherwise, after the deadline, uh, it will be unfortunately too late for you to turn it in. So the class is organized around just a few different materials. Um, here are the breakdown of that, so make sure you look that over. Lots of, uh, of like policies and some computer requirements. My email is on here um, as well. And then um, our Twitch things, our Twitch live streams, uh, we will have those posted here on the website and I'll have them on the calendar so you can plan for them um, as well. Okay. If your internet or power goes out during an exam, obviously that's uh, unfortunate. Hopefully that doesn't happen, but with everybody being online, it, you know, stuff like that does occur. So if the website crashes or the internet goes out during a test, obviously email me. Uh, and in that case, uh, you know, we can try to get it reset for you so that you can take it uh, again, hopefully that doesn't happen. It usually doesn't happen very often, but of course if something comes up and you have a problem with accessing something or a crash of some sort, uh, reach out to me and I'll do what I can, do what I can to help you through it. Okay. Oh, 
Thank you, right? Uh, makes me sad that people aren't un understanding, right? Um, I want you all to succeed and do well. I hope you all get A's in the class. It would make me so happy. Uh, but, you know, there definitely are are some other things to follow and make sure that you're following those policies and getting things in on time. If you're reading and putting in the effort, you're going to be just fine. Um, so I think a really interesting uh, set of topics that we have to cover and hopefully everything will run smoothly. We'll hope for the best, right? <laughs> so you can print it into PDF format if you have um, a Mac, but by chapter. Okay, great. Um, I know there are ways around it. Um, I'm fairly tech savvy, but I have not figured out how to print it other than um, just printing it from this page, which isn't, I don't think, the most efficient way to do it. All right. Any other questions, thoughts, comments, anything else that I can answer for all of you before I give you uh, the Twitch extra credit question for the week and show you how to answer that? If you haven't already, make sure that you put your first and last name in the chat somewhere. If you um, if you see a little football cake or crown next to your name, I made the little football cake. It kind of looks like a hamburger, but it's a football cake. Uh, then it's very easy for me to download and track your name. Uh, but please, either way, make sure that you have put your first and last name in there at some point uh, so that I can mark that you were here. Um, good, I'm glad you're feeling confident. That's fantastic. Uh, it's always a good thing, right? Uh, again, it's a fast course and there's a lot each week, but it's very um, consistent and doable. So I hope that I hope that you're not feeling overwhelmed. And uh, what I'll do is at the end of every stream, I will hang out for about five to 10 minutes. If you have any questions, that's a wonderful time to ask me. Um, you can of course email me at any point, uh, but that's a wonderful time to, to have those. Bring them with you. If you don't understand a term, I can talk more about it. If you have any other um, questions about something you're confused about, I can cover it a little bit more. But otherwise, just make sure you're getting the announcements, you're doing everything under each week. Um, pay attention to the weekly deadlines. Don't wait till the last minute. Please try not to wait till Sunday night. It's, it's inevitably when it's something crashes, right? That's always, always the case. Oh yeah, yeah we're, we're just trying to uh, fit it in, but nobody wants nobody wants extra busy work, right? My kids, I think my I have a twin seven year olds who are in first grade. I think they have more homework than you have, which I don't know. <laughs> I'm like sometimes it makes me mad, right? Um, busy work isn't isn't very fun for anyone. So uh, what I will do at the end of each lecture after we've gone through this. Um, is I will give you a Twitch extra credit question for joining me here. So I'm going to put it in the chat. Um, seven, seven, and eight, almost nine, all, all girls, and then four cats, two dogs, and three rats. <laughs> we have a, quite a household of, of people and, and pets. Twin brothers, <laughs> nice. Right. Seven-year-old, yep. Right, they have so much homework, and it's all on Google Google Classroom, which is nice, but it's, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot for sure. Uh, it's, it's fun and chaotic, <laughs> right? Uh, so your Twitch extra credit, extra credit question, and forgive me, I've learned about myself that I don't type and talk well at the same time, but your Twitch extra credit question for this week, um, it comes from chapter two, and it is what is meant by the phrase, Correlation does not equal causation. <laughs> Don't judge me. <laughs> okay. Um, what I want you to do for this is explain and give an example. An example. Okay, so this is Twitch extra credit number one. And um, by joining me um, on here and then putting your name in the chat and answering this question, you can earn up to five points of extra credit. Now these are recorded, so you're able to watch them later. What I will do when we're done tonight um, is I will post a link to it on Canvas. So um, I'll post a link under week number one, um, right here under this Twitch extra credit. So if you wanted to go back and watch it again, or if you were only able to make part of it, you can go back and watch it. Um, and I try to post those on YouTube so that you can watch them anywhere. Um, it just seems convenient. Um, try and come up with your own example if you can. That might be that might be nice. Um, so we answer it right here. No, not in this chat. So let me show you where you want answer the Twitch extra credit question. So 
in the week number one link right here, you'll click on Twitch extra credit number one. And we'll let that load. Okay. Um, and you'll see right here, um, when you're ready, um, I have instructions on here, um, how to earn those five points of extra credit. Um, and then the instructions here, if you're still trying to find me and find my Twitch and subscribe. But you'll, when you're ready to answer, you'll click start assignment here at the top in blue. And what you'll notice is that brings up a text box and you can type your response right into the box right here. Um, and this is due um, by the end of the week. So this is due before Sunday night, like everything else. Everything is due by Sunday night at 11.59 p.m. Okay, no worries, right? You were uh, getting a jump start on it, so you can use that example um, on here, and that's totally, totally fine. So if you go back up to the top, um, oh, it, it booted me out of it. So um, when you're done, you'll hit Submit Assignment. But right here, oh look at I got confetti because I submitted. But up here you'll hit submit assignment or start assignment. Right now it says new um, attempt because I already did it. But you'll click on this blue at the top and then you'll type your response in the box and hit submit. Um, and what I will do is I will grade these. I typically grade them throughout the week, but they'll be graded like everything else on Monday night. Um, and if you answer it correctly, you'll get the five points of extra credit. Um, or you might get partial credit if you don't quite answer it all the way. Uh, and I know it says it's worth zero points, uh, but that's because it's not um, a graded item. It is beyond your grade as extra credit. And there are four of these. We'll do one each week. Um, so you can earn up to 20 points of extra credit if you join me every week uh, and answer those questions. So again, the question is in the chat. Um, I will go back up here and copy it one more time for you. Okay. So again, the extra credit question is, what is meant by the phrase correlation does not equal causation? Explain and give an example. Um, you notice the confetti, right? I've never seen that in Canvas before either. Maybe that's, maybe that's new. Um, as long as you, if you get the answer correct, I probably won't give you feedback on the extra credit. Um, if you get it incorrect, um, I will often give you feedback. And if I'm grading it early in the week and it's wrong, um, I will oftentimes let you know and you'll still have a chance to, to fix it. I try to grade them periodically just so they don't add up incredibly for me and if, uh, if it's wrong for some reason, uh, I will let you know and you'll have the chance to, to resubmit. Okay. So I think that is just about everything um, that I wanted to cover. And again, um, this is longer than we'll normally, uh, normally go, but uh, it's our first week, so I just wanna make sure you're set. And uh, what I will do, it takes a little bit for it to download, but um, by tomorrow for sure, there will be a link right here to this stream if you wanted to watch it again or um, for the first time, and that's totally fine. Um, if you can't make these live, uh, they will be posted for you to watch later. Biggest piece of advice, don't fall behind. It is a lot of reading and material, so just try and stay on top of it. Um, we have four weeks to go and each week will look very similar. Uh, and there's lots of resources for here, up here if you need help. And of course, you can always email me if you're confused or don't know what um, you need to do. Feel free to reach out to me, I'm here. I check my email a lot uh, and I'll get back to you quickly. Um, Twitch, what are these bonus points um, all about? I'm not sure what you're asking. So we're on Twitch um, right now and then you can earn those five points of extra credit um, if you're in this class uh, by answering the question that I gave right here where it says Twitch extra credit number one, okay? Yes, so if you don't, um, if you aren't watching it live, you can still go ahead and answer it. Um, that's totally fine. I do understand that your schedules are probably all over the place. Um, I would strongly prefer that you are here with me live, but you can still go ahead and answer it. I just won't see your name in the chat, um, so you'll get partial um, credit, but you're still definitely welcome to answer it. On the study guide, you can't see the diagrams. Am I doing something uh, wrong? Um, so let's see, if you go to study guide number one, there are only diagrams on this first study guide. After that, uh, there aren't any, but it's on the second page. So you should be able to see them here. If for some reason, uh, no, uh, so it is for the class, not channel points, but uh, for, this is an actual um, class. So um, you can also go on the ebook page under additional resources. 
If you're not seeing the images, you could try it here too. There's study guides right here um, that you could try and see if um, they pop up for you. Okay. All right. So uh, I appreciate all of you who were able to be on here with me um, tonight. Uh, we have two classes running at the same time. So uh, it's this one and then one other one. Big, big thing, please don't forget to get that mandatory orientation done before tonight. Um, I will send anyone who didn't do it one last email tomorrow, but it's my way of making sure that you're participating and on top of things with the class. Uh, thank you, thank you for those of you, uh, thank you for those of you who are saying such nice things. That's always nice to hear. But uh, yes, if you are taking this with a friend, um, you can definitely do your work together, but it should be a little bit different. So uh, work together and help each other out, but make sure that you're you're submitting your own um, your own work. Um, that would be obviously ideal. I don't want to accidentally think that you're copying each other. But thank you all for being on here. And then what I'll do at the end um, is I will hang out for another like five to ten minutes or so. If you have any questions, you can put them in the chat, and I would be happy to answer them. Our next live stream. Let me just grab that for you. Um, and then we can call it a night. Can't remember when I put it, so let's uh, check that really quickly. Our next live stream, if you go to the calendar, I put them all in the calendar. Um, and I tried to be consistent, uh, but there will be one that is uh, a little bit different. So let's see, where are we? Today is here. So our next live stream will be, says May. <laughs> My dog is like losing her losing her mind here in the background. So it'll be 8 o'clock p.m. next um, next week. No, you don't need to stay. So if you don't have any questions, um, you're totally welcome uh, to go. But if you do have questions, you can hang out and, and I will answer them answer them for you. So if you're all, if you're feeling good, you're welcome to go at any time. Now we are officially done. But if you do have questions, uh, you can go ahead and, and hang around. Okay. All right. So for some reason it didn't show up on my end, but our next live stream should be on Tuesday next week. Um, let me just bring this up, just double checking. Tuesday the 1st at 8 o'clock p.m. So Tuesday 6-1 at 8 o'clock p.m. Okay. Oh, and Rolly came back, right? The last uh, five to ten minutes could be cat time. Yeah, it was nice to meet all of you as well. I'm sorry that we're not in person, but we'll make the best of it, and uh, we'll have a great four weeks, and, and then it'll be over. <laughs> so I'm glad that you're all here, and uh, hopefully we have a nice, a nice short class together. So um, again, if you um, are feeling good, you're welcome to go ahead and sign off, and I'll see you next Tuesday. Um, otherwise, I'm going to minimize my, uh, my camera, but I will hang out. Uh, for a little bit if you do have any other questions. Yes, so let, um, I can see if I can take you there really quick. So chapter three. Right, and I'm like, I have to find it with you here, right? So neurons, it's uh, in the section related to the brain. And it might actually be in chapter one. There's actually a little part about it in chapter one as well. But. Scrolling down, scrolling down. I want to say that it's actually in chapter one. I'm sorry if I put it on chapter three in the study guide, not to be confusing. Let's see if we can find it together. Just making sure you were still there. So in chapter one, I'm pretty sure it's here. Mm -hmm. I talked about it a little bit in the lecture as well. So if it's not in here, then it's in the in the lecture. Sometimes I forget where where it was housed. Hmm. Well, that's a good question. Look, you got me stumped. <laughs> so chapter one, I'm trying to see if it's on here. 
it's in one of these spots, right? So, um, oh, it's in here in the uh, book. This is actually, you can see the picture of it right here in this little um, video, right? So this is a phrenology head right here. It's the bumps on the skull uh, representing, uh, representing personality attributes. So I talked about it in chapter one, um, not chapter three, but it's related to chapter three content. So yes, uh, sorry for that confusion but yes it is right there in the in the lecture if you watch this little video or the lecture I made for chapter one um, phrenology uh, were the bumps on the skull created by Franz Gall it's right here in the in the slide okay. <laughs> no worries of course sorry to sorry to make it hard for you to find I'm gonna make a note um, to move it for the next one next semester. Thank you, you too. Have a wonderful night. If anyone else has any other questions, I'm definitely here. Otherwise, um, of course, if you think of something after we're done tonight, feel free to email me. I am here if you, if you have questions. Otherwise, I will see you all next week on Tuesday night for our next stream. Mm-hmm.